Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the third episode of Tarakun wa Koyo Shinai. So, in the last episode, we pretty much had a situation where our new transfer students had to join a club, like, mandatory. So, they decided to join the photography club because Tara was in it and all the characters who matter are in it. So they did. They had a fun little game that they played that kind of cemented the idea of them joining. Well, it was more about Teresa decided to join and of course Alexander was going to as well. But yeah, the whole thing was basically just introducing us to the photography club members, uh, like Yamashita, the Dogi, uh, Sugimoto, Pin Senpai, whatever you want to call him, the, uh, the guy who quite likes Hina, which I do hope people appreciated my thumbnail for episode 2, I, I just I had to do that. Uh, and yeah, hopefully they didn't have a great time in that club together, so yeah. 3, 2, 1, play. Good old Tata Coffee Shop, the best coffee in town I've heard. <laughs> uh oh okay <laughs> wasn't expecting to get some uh monologuing from nyanko big but okay back when he was nyanko small yeah <laughs> wow you are a bit of an old cat Wake up, master. I want to be pet, fed, and given water in that order. Aww. Hashtag relatable. Well, my cat just headbutts me, but... <laughs> uh... Even though it looks like it. Try looking at him. Or you could try turning into a cat girl. It's a big cat, jeez. Uh... That would just cause him to sleep forever. <laughs> uh, good job. <laughs> Somebody's awake. Oh, Yui. Well, make sure to put the toast in your mouth first. Okay, have fun at school. Feel free to bring me back a souvenir. It gave me your, one of your friend's panties if it's not too much trouble. Female friend, I should clarify. Oh, food, water. That, that takes priority. You get food for doing nothing. Be appreciative. <laughs> hey, sir, I may be eating this food, but that's because I don't want to die of starvation. I never claimed I liked it. Don't get the wrong idea, Baka. Oh, she's above him. Of course she is. Uh, fit in. Alexandra's there, too. They probably have a night together. <laughs> uh. Ah, so that's where the whole Tara Kun doesn't fall in love thing comes from. Because so far we haven't really seen much of that. Oh? Sense of a cute girl? Oh, that was my second guess. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's a lot of things I want in that room over there, and I'm going. Is that going to make that jump busy because that's the opening shot? Well, one of the clips from the opening. There we go. That's what happens when you're that big. <laughs> it's funny, because I actually was going to bring up the, I, the the fact that I haven't really seen a whole lot of... Uh, I've seen no reason reasoning for that title. Like, I've never seen him, like, straight up reject any of a girl's romantic advances to him. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, he never seemed to be in love with her or anything, but... I mean, that could just be him not making it obvious. <coughs> hmm. But yeah, at least they finally addressed it. They still haven't given us any kind of reasoning. But that's something, I guess, that acknowledges the existence of the title. But we know he's going to fall in love with her eventually. It's called It's a Romance Caesar Series for a reason. And that's the shot. So oh, Ijuin's obviously going to get together with Alexandra, there's no question there. And you have, uh, 
he and Senpai getting together with class rep, that's obviously a thing as well. So even if Tadakun didn't fall in love, there'd still be romance in the series, but things are not called romance. They're not given the romance tag unless the main character is in a romance. And you love that? Very interesting titles on the show. Episode titles. Did he die? Is he okay? Oh, yeah. Plenty of fur and fat to keep him safe. <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah. Well, I feel a lot better now. Where are you grabbing? <laughs> I don't think any cat wants to be treated like that. <laughs> yep, we're all alone. Sort of. I have mixed feelings about Nyanko Big talking, though. <laughs> He's alright. <laughs> I can tell that much. Mm. Yeah. Do your job. <laughs> well, you should do something to earn his keep. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Never mind then. But he seems like a, you know, pretty intelligent cat. I feel like a fully sentient being can manage that. I could totally flip that sign. Have faith in me. Oh, anything. I could give you some experiences. Ah, they got a list right here. Yeah, Kanban Musume, that'll be great. <laughs> Suits her well enough. <laughs> uh, now I am getting Nekopara flashbacks. Uh, of course, not a real customer. All in a dog bowl. <laughs> Platinum. Good boy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, you tried. Good, good job subtitling that. <laughs> I'm glad me and Yanko Big are on the same page, at least in regards to him and other things. He kind of does. Yakuza, clearly. That cute girl over there, she knew. I still love that shot of the, of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. No. Hey, did they say red last time? I remember because it's red as in blood. Eventually somebody's going to get that right, and they won't die. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get in the way of my screenshot, didn't you, dude? Yes. <laughs> Are you really okay with this place? We can go somewhere else. You, like, I'll treat you right. We can go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, that's such a cute little kitty. Up a sandwich. I don't want to try that. I know I'd regret it immediately afterwards, but... Because it probably has vegetables in it. <laughs> uh. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. 
I know what a cop is, dude. Yeah, so you okay. Yeah, I think I've heard that somewhere. You know. I have an excuse. I'm not Japanese. You should know this stuff. Uh, now what's an iced coffee y'all latte again? I mean, I, I was waiting for her to say that. Uh, awkward. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, wow. That was slick. Not how I thought that was going. <laughs> uh. Really? I might have to try that. Five, six, seven, eight! We're we're there. We're okay, where's when's the honeymoon begin? Surprised they just rip her clothes off right there in the shop. Were they? She almost dropped stuff. I'll take the house blend, please. Uh, <laughs> quite the variety. <laughs> wow. Okay, I kind of want one. Yeah. Do, do I get one? You're probably not going to share with me because we're in different dimensions. That's usually how it goes. I've watched enough anime to know how that goes. He wants one. <laughs> wow, I don't think you wanted to hear that. Really? The rainbow one, of course. <laughs> of course, I saw it going a mile away. Don't get so close to me. Trip, 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 trip. <laughs> Please leave me alone. It's a little story called Fifty Shades of Grey. Now go away. Or, I mean, it could be Ninjas of Love. You stick it in. And the rest of it should just kind of work out. Yeah, you know you want some. Of course you do. Suits her with her hair color and all. Of course you're not. Because it's not manly to like sweet things. At least in anime. Of course, doesn't get much... <laughs> A rainbow cup's not very manly either. Though, you know, certain Shogun might disagree. <laughs> she likes a dark. <laughs> I really do want to try one of those now. Might have to Google that later. I just realized I could be so happy hanging out in a coffee shop with friends in a foreign country, drinking hot chocolate stuff from a rainbow cup. You know, I always appreciate ass shots, but not, not from a cat. Uh, Yanko Biggs day out. 
<laughs> yes, without a master, because that's how I roll. Oh. You understood that. Really? Got a cat whisperer. I know, right? <laughs> wow. Chinese restaurant. Maybe Anza's working there. I mean, we already know he does in this universe, so I don't know why Anza wouldn't be. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, there's a good shutter chance. And there's a photography club. Are we friends? <laughs> I see varying degrees of enthusiasm amongst that group. No. Push him in the water. Throw rocks at him. Man, music is kind of loud, actually. Okay, turn it down a bit. It is pretty nice, actually. Fast reps in this show, too, in case you guys forgot. <laughs> I doubt he will. <laughs> uh, no, he's not. <laughs> uh, don't ruin the illusion. Fascinating. I totally want to know more about his backstory. No. No, I do not. But I guess it'll be fun to see the so-called Kappa. And then the Kappa pulls him underwater and he drowns. Wow, jumping to conclusions. <laughs> I think it's just probably his foot caught in a plant or something. No. Let's, let's be honest, it's, it's better if we don't. <laughs> uh, Kappas aren't really violent, are they? That don't touch me with your filthy hand. Yes, we can agree with that. <laughs> uh, I class rep school. Oh, nice. I definitely like this backstory. <laughs> oh no, is she gonna also meet a kappa? Well, no, because she didn't know what they were. That's not safe. Please don't do that. Well, she's all wet, but still cute. <laughs> Aww. I, I kind of want a prequel now because she was much cuter back then. Uh, she is very worried about her. I can understand why she's so worried about her like in modern day. Current year, because, yeah, she's... Yeah, another water saving story. Less kappa though. With much more cuteness. Yes. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not before, but I do ship uh Teresa and Alexandra. I know it's not gonna happen, but I mean it could happen if the title reigned true, but it probably won't. Very original motivation. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a different cat. She's cute, actually, for a cat. 
I mean, I would never go for her personally, but she'd be good for Nyanko Big, is what I'm saying. <laughs> wow. She just, uh... Cherry. That's actually a suit of... It's a fitting name. But yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. You know you want her, Nyanko Big. Go for it. Put a kitten in her. <laughs> oh my god, it's coming back. And there we go. He's not taking after his mon master after all, and that's not far enough. Get a deja vu. <laughs> she doesn't care. Nah, she might be a bit too stuck up. Maybe you could look for somebody else. <laughs> Well, that's that went today went downhill for him quickly. That's a good sign. <laughs> wow. Not really. I think I already made that joke. Now you gonna get what? More than one reason. Number three. Nope, they didn't look at each other enough. <coughs> and that's what matters here. Uh, <laughs> a cat that leapt too much. Sam really does not like having the characters laughing together, don't they? I assume because it really makes it feel like they're all friends, but... <laughs> now that I've fallen in love. Uh, don't worry, you may have yet have your chance at Popper Cherry. Totally. He said something about Rainbow Shogun, right? He really must be pretty far deep in thought for him to have not have noticed that the classroom has filled up with water. But yeah, I would recommend opening a window. I think that shot was where he just noticed that there's water everywhere. And that's why she looks down into the water, because, you know, he sees him down in the water, he looks up from the water to see her. Then they meet the eyes for eight seconds, and they fall in love, showing that the title is a lie. And her tear falls into the water, mixing with the water that he's in. But somebody did empty the water, so maybe he didn't drown. So that was the third episode of Tadakun Something Something Never Falling in Love. But, you know, you probably will. He just has to meet her eyes for eight seconds, which I'm sure will come eventually. They do live next to each other, they go to school together, have the same class together, are in the same club together. So I'd say there's plenty of opportunities to, to do so. Oh, and they apparently work there, you know, whenever they feel like it. Uh, but they, I mean, Alexandra and the. Uh, Teresa. But anyway, yeah, this episode, that is what happened. They worked there, but not before we got a lot of information on Nyanko Big, who apparently has been there for quite a while, like 10 years, I think. He just, Tata found him as a kitten and took good care of him, and he takes good care of Tata, pretty much, at least until he falls in love. That's, that's later in the episode. 
But yeah, pretty much you have uh, Teresa who decided she wanted to work at the coffee sh uh, I think I combined the word cafe and coffee together. The coffee shop as it gives us a new experience. And she really does come across as a rich girl in Ojo Sama. Which, I mean, that flashback kind of seemed like it was even more the case. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so she she did that. And she seemed to do better than I expected at it, really. I mean, she almost dropped something once. But the, the Yakuza there kind of helped out and grabbed it. And it, no harm, no foul. But yeah, of course, Ijumi was her first customer to show up, and that's that's unfortunate. When uh, Teresa was standing there all excitedly waiting for her customers, that did remind me of that one scene in the first volume of Nekopara. It, a lot, but of course, this went by much more quickly than that because you know, uh, an episode of an anime get compared to a you know visual novel, which are usually more slow paced. But yeah, she she did a pretty good job, I would say. Uh, and of course Alexander has to work there as well because anything Teresa does, Alexander has to do as well because she worries about her a lot, which is understandable after seeing the flashback because she is very much a, uh, she's the kind of character that you, you worry about. You never, like, you, you don't want to take your eyes off her for 10 seconds because she'll fall into a water or something. But yeah, it's a good thing Tata saw her when he did in the first episode because she was separated from Alexandra and if she hadn't found a nice person like Tata, Things would have gone poorly. But yeah, a big focus on the episode was Nyanko Big, his backstory, his life, his love life, because he just found a girl in the end there. I don't know if she's the right girl for him, probably. She's just a little bit soon to rest. She'll, she, I think she'll warm up to him a little bit. I mean, his jump wasn't the best ever, but he did make an effort. Uh, maybe if he becomes Nyanko Medium, he could do these jumps a bit better. But uh, yeah, he knows always next time. But yeah, I like how people just, you know, recognize, like, I think uh, I think Nyanko Big's pretty popular in town. Like he's like he's the cat. He's the talk of the town. He's the kind of cat that everybody likes. And uh, yeah, the one guy I don't remember his name, but he totally seems to understand understand Nyanko Big. Uh, probably not literally understanding his meowing words, but he can connect with him on a you know on a mental emotional level. But yeah, we did get some photo photography club shenanigans a little bit, and just you know just them hanging around as a club, uh, taking pictures, reminiscing about the past, like, uh, Ijuin talking about Kappa. Like, I totally saw Kappa once, you know, it was in the water and it tried to kill me. I never actually saw it or anything, but I'm pretty sure it existed. And, you know, when he was, he was helped out of that little predicament. Uh, which was, you know, far less interesting than the backstory of, uh, Teresa and Alexandra, which I, I liked a lot more. Uh, especially because uh, Teresa was really, really cute back then. I mean, so was Alexandra, but I kind of prefer her hairstyle now to back then, so I would probably consider her more cute now than back then. Uh, personally, I could you know, uh, so yeah, I I would prefer, you know, Teresa to have more a hairstyle, maybe a bit more similar to Alexandra, possibly. I don't know, I don't see that happening, but you know, one can always hope, right? Actually, speaking of Teresa's hair, uh, that scene close to the end when she was just like staring at at the picture with that cute face of hers, uh, her hairstyle there, I would like that to be her hairstyle, like always, as opposed to the ponytail thing that she has. I would love that if that was the case. It's not gonna happen, but I would I would quite like that. In any case, I do hope things work out between Yanko, Big, and Cherry. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.